Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who's thinking heavily about you right now and why. Today is the um, 30th of December, 2022. Time is 2.27 p.m. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Now, please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Earth Sign. Now, let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me for Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Who's thinking heavily about Earth Signs right now and why? Two wands at the bottom of the deck. We have a couple of people here um, thinking heavily about you right now. Got the King of Pentacles. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Could also be a father figure or a, a dad, a boss. Um, and another sword here in reverse, the tower in reverse. The reason why I feel like King of Pentacles can be like a father figure or a dad, because maybe this is just for some of you if you have a fallout with a dad or a you know, father figure. That's just for some of you. If not, King of Pentacles is this person that you're not really speaking with right now, Knight of Swords in love first. That could have been a tower moment in the past here where um, things ended in a, in, um, in a very dramatic way or very abruptly. And Eight of Pentacles in love first looks like this is somebody you're not um, working on right now. This is a connection that you're not working on right now. The Ace of Pentacles and Love First. Maybe this person had made promises, but didn't quite keep it. But right now, this person, or the connection would, would have maybe started off really solid, but then it didn't take off. We got the Hermit here. So this person has been uh, reflecting over what had happened in the past, right? Over what they have said to you in the past or what you've said to them in the past. I see this person thinking heavily in regards of, you know, of reaching out to you. Could be offering an apology or offering love or commitment or some sort of a solution. Because King of Pentacles, when, you know, Pentacles indicate something solid. Um, or offering you something, something that is of value to you, whatever it could be. It could be a physical, material thing as well. We've got the four wands here, so... This person could be thinking heavily in regards of being with you, being in the same house as you are, or getting back together with you, or wondering how you're doing at home, okay? We've got the Knight of Cups here. So this could be a completely different person. For all I know, this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or it could just simply be, be somebody who actually loves you or has romantic feelings for you, cares about you. But this person either could be a bit upset about something or this could be that person that you could be a bit upset about um you know four of cups can get some sort of rejection maybe this person feels rejected by you but still loves you cares about you perhaps hoping for a four ones hoping for a reconciliation hoping to also maybe officiate things for some of you if you are currently connected with someone that I don't know, it could be you or this person, but there's an energy of someone may have said, um, no, I'm not ready, or, you know, some sort of rejection here. I think this person really does love you or cares about you, the Nine of Cups, and could be thinking heavily in regards of avoiding any tower moment with you, avoiding any disaster with you, and just trying to make peace with you with the Four Wands, and um, hoping that you will accept their offer to reconcile but i think if this person is not telling you this right now or not taking any actions towards you right now that's because they may be fearful that you you will reject them okay i want to pull out a few of these oracles
I want to be more than friends. You have some of you that could be somebody you may have friend zoned, um, who actually wants to be more than friends. So this is one person here thinking heavily about you right now. It's time for me to heal now. Maybe this person is hurt because you may have rejected them. It feels like a rejection or signs. If you've rejected somebody in the past, you could have friend zoned them, bro zoned them. Um, I think this person is very attracted to you and it's time. Yeah, they're going through healing and recovery. They're probably hurt, yeah? I bury myself in work to forget you. So they could be actively um, doing anything. Could be going to the gym or literal working. Could also be dating other people, bury themselves in whatever to forget about you. But this person can't stop thinking about you though. I look for you everywhere. So there could be a lot of things that may be reminding this person of you. And I think they can't see someone. Like you are, you are unique. You are very different, or sign. So I think they really are attracted to you because of how different you are. And they know that they can't find or meet anybody like you are again. I wish I had treated you better. And I hate who I really am from you. I feel like this is someone who doesn't really want to tell you how they feel about you, maybe because they did before and you kind of rejected them. Um, and they could be thinking about words that they have said. Maybe they could have said something differently or done something differently so that you would see them in a different light, so that you would accept their offer here, right? And we've got, again, two of wands at the bottom of the deck. It feels like this person be thinking about the future or thinking about indecision like they could be indecisive whether to offer you love ace of cups and what first feels like a second attempt here earth signs most likely this is somebody you have rejected in the past but they do love you uh has again feelings for you care for you but the four of swords in my verse yeah it feels like this person does think a lot about you um ace of cups in my verse they could be thinking heavily in regards of you know, whether they should offer you love or not, because when it's in reverse, that means they could be delaying offering you love or expressing their feelings towards you. Because maybe they're afraid of rejection or maybe they've already been rejected by you before in the past. Five of Wands, maybe this is somebody you've had a conflict with in the past. If not, it could indicate they, this person is conflicted in regards of making this choice to offer you a commitment or offering you love to tell you express to you how they feel about you they've been hiding how they truly feel about you with this card here i hate who i really am for for me or maybe if they do tell you that they love you care about you they may be downplaying it okay all right, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I want to leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so uh, because I post them every single day, twice a day even, and I upload them right away so they are relevant, they are very up to date. All right. Take care, signs. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.